Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the, um, for mid-March. Sorry, it just looks like my camera's off, but anyway, uh, we're just gonna roll with it, so pretend, pretend that I'm in the middle of the screen, but, uh, welcome to your reading for mid-March 2024. You have this card that says, it was a necessary ending so that you can pursue, pursue the life you're destined to lead, leave the past behind. There's a path you're meant to be on and trust it. So uh, clearly if there was some sort of ending right here, <laughs> then I feel that this was a necessary ending. It does not have to be love. Yeah, there's clearly like an ending and a new beginning. It is weird that a lot of people have had like readings in the middle of the month here that have pretty much been about an ending and a new beginning. Uh, and everybody has had the tower in almost exactly the same position, which is also very weird to me, but um, you know, again, there could have been some sort of ending and clearly there's going to be some sort of global tower moment. And <laughs> this is this came up in all the March readings, apparently, uh, as well, which is super weird. But, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, again, I feel that there could have been an ending that is leading to a new beginning. I mean, it's pretty simple. You have the uh, Ten of Swords to that, um, to the Fool. The Ten of Swords can represent a difficult ending or being stabbed in the back or... Uh, something like that. But really, um, the Ten of Swords is like a blessing in disguise. He's making a symbol right here with his hands, and the symbol represents a blessing. And, you know, again, the Ten of Swords could be some sort of blessing in disguise, Libra. Uh, we are having this eclipse in your sign on the 25th. So, you know, if you're watching this before the 25th, obviously, then... But even after, you know, there, you know, eclipses can eclipse things out of our life. And uh, this looks more like an upgrade to me. It is weird that, again, I switch decks every single sign. You know, I have like multi, I have stacks of these decks here. This is a Radiant Rider Weight, my favorite deck, right? And I have stacks of them over here. So, you know, I switch decks every single time. People always ask me like, are cards sticking or whatever? And, um, you know, I would say I switch every single reading. So, no. <laughs> and uh, it's weird to me when so many cards repeat, like at times like this. So, you know, we could be, you know, sometimes I think when I have readings like this that are so similar, I would, your, your reading's actually different, but there are some similarities, Chariot and Tower mostly, and the Ten of Swords. Um, you know, when, when this happens, I think that we're kind of like at an energetic funnel, like a choke point, if that makes sense. So it's not really necessarily a, that it's a collective energy, right? It's that we're all, the energy is kind of coming to a point, if that makes sense. And so what, I mean, you know, two eclipses, March 25th, April 8th, Eclipses are kind of like fate. They can represent fated events or uh, destiny and things like that. So, you know, this doesn't have to be a bad thing, by the way. I actually think these eclipses are pretty positive. So, you know, this could be that there are big changes that are happening for for everyone. Because, you know, again, because again, maybe the energy is coming to a point. Everybody's kind of funneling into this energy, energetic, you know, portal or whatever you want to call it. And which would make sense with two eclipses pretty close together. And, you know, again, now we're just kind of, um, you know, maybe making changes or having new beginnings and it is what it is, right? <laughs> so I don't think it has to be that big of a deal, but I would definitely take advantage of any new opportunities that you can at this time, Libra. In the area of your thoughts, you have the Three of Pentacles. I kind of feel like some of you are hoping for a recognition. The Three of Pentacles is a card of recognition. You know, it's a card of quality work. He has done a good job with those Three Pentacles that he's created above his head. And so I feel for some of you that you're hoping to receive recognition or you're hoping to understand something about the future or about the world or you're hoping to stand out in the world. Like maybe you're hoping to get credit for work that you've done or you're hoping to stand out for work that you've done. And you could be thinking a lot about this with the Three of Pentacles. I would also say that um, you know anything you can do to work together with other people would be extra beneficial with the Three of Pentacles. You have the Page of Wands in the area of your foundation. Uh, I actually feel pretty good about this, especially having the tower here because this would say that you're just ready for a new adventure. Sometimes I just feel the tower, tower comes crashing down and we just start something new. <laughs> you know, just that simple. And you know, it wouldn't surprise me if you're just ready for a new adventure or you're ready to take a leap of faith in a new direction or something along those lines. Uh, he also has this feather right here in his cap. We also see a feather in the cap of the fool right here as well. And so the feather in the cap kind of represents knowledge, uh, you know, him knowing something or being prepared for something. Uh, you know, we say a feather in their cap, like kind of like knowing, having learned something. And so I feel like you have learned how, like what you need to learn to go on a new adventure. So if you're thinking about like starting a new job, getting into a new relationship, starting something new, this basically is saying to me, to you, that it, you are more than prepared or you are ready uh, to get going. So 
you know, I like this. Uh, you have the chariot. The chariot is about a victory or a success coming in for you. The chariot is coming up in the past. The past position is the energy that you are moving past. It's 12-12, by the way. I'm actually doing some extra readings today. Normally, normally I wouldn't have kept going today with my readings, but I felt extra motivated. So uh, here you go, but it's 12-12. How's that? Uh, you have the chariot. The chariot is about a victory, and it is coming up in your past, and it can represent setting yourself apart. Again, the chair. I've never seen the chariot so much as I have over the last like two years or so, I would say. It's like, it, it almost comes up in every single reading for like the past two years. And I think that it's probably because we've had Pluto go into Aquarius a couple of times and then it's retrograded back into Capricorn. And, you know, it's gonna retrograde back into Capricorn again before officially moving into Aquarius in November. So I feel for some of you, that you know you've just been kind of making these decisions about like how to set yourself apart or how to be unique in the world which i kind of feel like is what people are doing they're just looking for ways to stand out ways to be unique ways to get recognition you have this medusa card it says jealousy leads to downfall you have this maiden it says a new relationship blossoms some of you could be stepping into a new connection or you have let go of a connection and this is saying that there's a new connection coming in for you in the future uh, this could also be in work or business as well is what I'm getting. So that definitely stands out to me. Um, you have the tower. Uh, what's really super weird is that it's shown up in exactly the same position for a lot of people. For most people, it's shown up here, like in, in these you know three cards, this area, the very beginning of the Celtic cross, which is interesting to me. A lot of people have had it in the very near future as well. So we could see some sort of global tower moment, like a world leader stepping down or uh, something like that, uh, you know, whatever, right? Who cares? Uh, I also feel that this could just be saying that you're making some changes in your life or that it is a time of change. Again, the eclipses. In the same area, you have this crafter card. It says a talent is just waiting to be expressed with your hands. It says start a small, uh, start a small business at home by creating novelties by hand. You have this real estate card. It says any dealings with real estate will be profitable at this time. Build a solid foundation prior to building several stories above it. Yes, maybe the tower moment has already happened as well. Again, eclipses are fate. Eclipses don't necessarily bring back the past, but we are pretty freaking close at the time of eclipse. Uh, five days later or six days later is the first day of Mercury retrograde. So we're, you know, we're pretty close to the retrograde during the time of the eclipse. So this could say that you are revisiting an old idea, something that probably didn't work because of the tower, and you're revisiting the foundation. I do feel that for some of you where, you know, because of the retrograde and everything, you could be revisiting like an old idea, um, something that you didn't complete or something that you didn't finish in the past. And I feel like this is saying now you could revisit it and rebuild it. Again, I always like to tell people as well, Mercury retrograde is a great time to do that. <laughs> you know, if you had an old idea that you never finished, we can sometimes revisit those things during Mercury retrograde and build them back stronger or make them work, right? So, you know, this could be like a business idea or, uh, you know, work idea or something that you tried to do. You know, it could be anything. It could be a hobby that you tried in the past, whatever. And it definitely is popping into my head. Also, um, again, I do like the tower for moving as well, by the way. So if you're moving, you have that real estate card. Looks pretty good. In the area of the uh, next few months, you have the Four Swords. Four Swords is a card of resting, relaxing, recovering. So some of you could be going through a healing or you could be trying to heal from things that uh, no longer serve you. Uh, this is another card of a blessing. Again, you have the Ten of Swords, which can represent a blessing in disguise. Uh, this person here is blessing this person right here on the Four Swords. And he, this guy here is hoping and praying for blessings. So a lot of you could be hoping or praying that you receive some sort of blessing at this time. Uh, in the area of your closest relationships, you have the Five of Pentacles. I do feel like it's a little bit of a withdrawn time, the second part of March. So some of you could just find yourself withdrawing. I actually don't feel much here. It's like you, you just might not want to spend as much time with people. You know, maybe you're feeling like you want to be more independent or... Uh, maybe you just want to be at home, right? <laughs> so I don't really feel anything bad here. I just kind of feel like you're kind of doing things on your own and you're wanting to spend time on your own. Uh, next in the area of your future feelings, you have the Queen of Pentacles, which you get, which uh, you in particular, Libra, get with me all the time. Queen of Pentacles is a card of increasing your resources or uh, working on your resources. I think that you've been focusing on your resources for a long time. You even end with this Buffalo Spirit which I'll show you in a minute. And it just says the abundant universe will provide. So I feel that you're stepping into a time of abundance and probably increasing or trying to increase your resources. Pretty simple. 
Uh, at the end, for your outcome, you have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior, but Nine of Wands to me is a card of experimentation and not giving up. I feel like this is kind of saying not giving up, don't give up at this time. I also feel for a lot of you that again, if you are revisiting something, that would mean don't give up on it, then don't give up on something that you're revisiting. You have the Buffalo, it says the abundant universe will provide. You have the Pig Spirit, it says use your mind wisely. Yeah, I think that you could be stepping into a very abundant opportunity is what kind of what I'm gathering here. And I feel that this could be part of your new path. You have this card that says, there's a path you're meant to be on, trust it. And you also have this other card that says it was a necessary ending so that you can pursue um, the life you're destined to lead. So very interesting. I feel like you could be on this new path after some sort of, you know, tower moment or ending as that card says. And, uh, you know, you're kind of not giving up on it. You're just working towards something here, Libra. So let's see where this is going and let's get more details. Uh, with the tower and the fool, you have the three of cups. I feel like there are people who are cheering you on that are guiding you again. You have two threes here. Both of these cards can represent teamwork or uh, working together with other people. So I feel for a lot of you that you could be working together with other people or, um, you know, there could just be team, like, you know, team members as in your family, your friends, uh, people who support you. And those people could really be uh, trying to uh, help you or help support you in the right direction. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Hermit. Uh, the Hermit is about needing to show off your work, and I do feel it's time for you to shine, is kind of what this is saying. I always look at the Hermit like that, especially in the area of the mind. It says that you are thinking about something, and what you're thinking about is this right here. Uh, he has the star in his lantern, and the star in his lantern represents kind of like some sort of talent, gift, skill, or ability, or you know what he has earned after going through a dark night of the soul. So you have been through something, is what this card says, and that star in the lantern you know, it could be a talent, gift, skill, or ability, or something that you have earned through going through something. And now it's your, your time to shine your inner light. So, you know, I definitely feel it's time to shine your inner light. Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the Ten of Cups, fortune after difficulty, you know, happiness, good things happening after a difficult period of time. Uh, I'm also getting dating here. Like if you're looking for love, it could be a good time for you to, you know, go date someone or uh, go have fun, you know, try to go have more fun with people and things like that. Um, I do feel with the page of wands here that you're probably gonna find a person by getting out in public, by going and meeting new people, of course. Uh, could be a fire sign coming in for you. You always get fire with me, so you know it could be a fire sign. But again, if you don't want fire, it could be any sign, general reading, you know, take it how it resonates. But I do feel that there could be love here. It could be a surprise as well with the tower. Uh, with the chariot, you have the justice card. Um, which is you. Didn't I say something about justice here? <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, there could be something, you know, I kind of feel there's like this element of uh, destiny in your reading, as with everyone, because we have these uh, this these eclipses coming up at the end of the reading, you know, at the end of the month. And, you know, eclipses are kind of like destined to happen. And again, you have that card that says the life you're destined to lead. And so there's something about your destiny here. Uh, you are showing up in a very strong position. Whenever you show up as yourself, like you do right here, this puts you in a position of power and strength. It really allows you to get what you want from a reading. And so I feel like there's a lot of, you know, balance coming in for you, but I also feel that you are showing up as being very present in the reading. Yeah, with the tower, you have the uh, Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a change in your fortune. So again, this could be a good surprise as well, uh, but the Wheel of Fortune, you know, can represent a change in your fortunes. With the Wheel of Fortune, we, um, you know, again, I, I like the Wheel of Fortune. It is a card of your destiny, by the way. So it's funny that I said that. I think that there is a lot of destiny or destined you know things going on here for you but the wheel of fortune we control you know with the wheel of fortune we have to double down on the good things that happen and we have to take care of the challenges that pop up right away uh, if we do that then we will um, you know easily be able to overcome any challenges and also will you know increase the amount of good stuff that happens if we don't we won't so you know i would pay attention to that Again, like I said, Mercury retrograde coming up in at the very beginning of April, April 1st, April Fool's Day, right? So the universe is playing a joke on all of us. And uh, I would be careful if there are any exes coming back from the past or anything like that. I would definitely be careful. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is one of the only cards in the tarot that I personally consider an ex coming back. But again, it is a circle. So it can rep represent repeating a cycle or, uh, you know, kind of like repeating a mistake. So I would be careful of that if you're not trying to repeat a mistake with a person. With the Four of Swords, you have the King of Swords. Uh, I kind of like this as well. Again, this is you over the next few months. King of Swords says that you're showing up in a position of power and strength. 
Uh, King of Swords is a card of having knowledge and wisdom. I kind of feel like it's you because the King of Swords represents law and order. So for a lot of you, you could be bringing more balance into your life over the next few months. Uh, you could also just be in a position of kind of like taking the lead in your life. You, like all decisions are coming from you, Libra, and you're maybe being a little bit more independent, which I definitely feel off of this Five of Pentacles. Again, I feel pretty good about the Five of Pentacles. It doesn't feel like a bad thing to me, and I feel that uh, you are very focused on, you know, just being able to take care of yourself. With the Five of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is your emotions overflowing, being very happy. So I feel that there's a lot of happiness coming in for you. I also feel uh, this could be a love offer, by the way. Like if you've been single for a very long period of time, there could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, or Sagittarius, Virgo. Uh, Cancer stands out to me. Libra, it could be another Libra or Capricorn. So there you go. It's like everybody, I just listed all 12 signs. Basically, everybody's interested in you here, Libra. So this could be a love offer. Again, it could be a surprise love offer as well. So for those of you that want love, like and what I mean by surprise is, um, you know, I kind of feel like some of you could be finding out like a friend is interested in you or someone who's close to you. I think that you'd be interested as well if that, you know, if that story is for you, I think that you're interested as well, but maybe you're just surprised that, you know, that person is specifically interested in you. With the Queen of Cups, you have the Six of Cups. Yes, going this way here, I would be careful of a past person. For some of you though, this could actually be a good thing. Uh, you know, this could be a person that you never really dated that you kind of always thought about and now they're returning. Uh, so again, it could be that. The other reason I really like the Six of Cups is that the Six of Cups can represent a gift from the universe. And usually the gift we receive from the Six of Cups is a turnaround, just like we see here with the Wheel of Fortune. So again, if there have been any tower moments or if there has been um, some sort of falling apart or something like that, uh, this could say that things are going to be improving or that there is a turnaround. Like I said, usually with the Six of Cups, the gift we receive is we're you know, bumping up against an obstacle in life and then the Six of Cups comes in and it removes some sort of obstacle or something that like, you know, an obstacle to our path or something that could get in the way. Uh, with the Nine of Wands, you have the Tower again. So clearly there's some something, like I said, I wouldn't even really worry about the Tower. It could be some sort of global Tower moment. It could be like something that's affecting you or that it, that you are, you know, kind of like thinking about, right? But also the Tower kind of says with that Nine of Wands, like don't give up on something that you could be revisiting. Can we get more details on the Tower? I just want to see if we can get more clarity. It, it could be an opportunity. Again, the Tower does not have to be a bad thing. The Tower could be a surprise opportunity. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a big opportunity. It's something that has a lot of potential. So uh, don't be surprised when you get an offer. You know, with the Tower, sometimes what I feel, like when I get something like the Tower with the Ace of Pentacles is, that this could be an opportunity that you feel like you're not ready for, but you actually are. You know, it's like maybe your boss is like, oh, we want you to, um, you know, move cross country and, you know, work at this new, uh, you know, branch of our office or whatever, right? And it's like, maybe you feel like you're not ready, but you are. And so, you know, again, I, I, I would pay attention to that. There could be some sort of opportunity coming in for you. But uh, we're gonna pull five main themes and see what goes on here. Again, I would be careful of any global tower moments. You know, if there's anything that happens in the world, which clearly there could be, I would just keep your head on straight. You have this achievement card. So there are clearly achievements coming in for you as well. This is another Capricorn card and you have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn. So you could be achieving things that you've been working towards for a long time. I think it's pretty specific for you, Libra, that you have been working towards things. You know, it's like you've probably been working towards something like finishing up school, for example, getting a degree and getting a, um, you know, getting a job that has to do with your degree. That's, you know, kind of like the, you know, story for Libra. It doesn't have to be exactly that, but it could be something similar. So I, I really feel that there could be a solid opportunity uh, coming in for you here. You have this decision card. I do feel like there are choices to be made. Uh, I would pick the new path or pick the new choice. I would also follow your heart. You know, I think we're in a heart-based time where you need to listen to what your heart is telling you to do. That's probably the best option here. So that's what I would do there. You have this defense card. Uh, yeah, I would like, um, you know, I, you have the Nine of Wands, which is about putting up boundaries. And I think boundaries is a good idea right now. And so any boundaries you need to put up against like toxic people or people who cause problems in your life or anything like that, uh, I would definitely do that with this card for sure. Uh, you have this intuition card. I would definitely trust your intuition. Uh, I feel like we are in a very intuitive time, very heart-based time. And your intuition could be guiding you towards your destiny. destiny. Again, you have that the life you're destined to lead card there. So I would pay attention to that and definitely time to leave the past behind. 
And uh, finally, you have the resourcefulness card. You have the Queen of Pentacles, which is all about being resourceful. And it basically says if you feel like, you know, it, it says, is there a way to do what you want to do in your life without be necessarily spending money, right? It, or is there a better way to do the things that you want to do? And again, I, I don't know. I can't answer that question for you, but uh, I would look into it. Like if there's anything that you want to do, be, have, build, create, whatever, I would look into like other ways of doing those things, you know, whatever that means for you. Because again, you might find like a better way to start a business. Maybe you can do it for free or, um, you know, maybe you can start small and maybe that's a better way to get started in the first place or whatever. So, you know, I would look at for those opportunities, but a uh, pretty good reading. Again, I think a lot of this has to do with your destiny and like what you think you're meant to be doing. And, um, you know, I think you're moving closer to your destiny or closer to achievements. So it looks pretty good, uh, minus the tower. But uh, other than that, it looks good. I'm, I, again, I think the, the tower is more like a global tower moment, like I said. So, you know, just pay attention to that. But uh, it looks good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.